Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us go through BBN, Bayesian Belief Network. It's one of the most easiest topic and interesting topic, guys. Don't worry. Okay, so let us go through it. So, it is a probabilistic graphical model that encounters the probabilistic relation among a set of variables with the probabilistic benefits. So, probabilistic is nothing but determining the uncertainty. Okay, so once we are going through the example, you'll be having a clear idea. Don't worry, guys. Okay, so the belief network is an efficient structure for a strong joint between probabilities. So here we'll be using the probability joints guys. Okay, so in Bayer's belief network, we will be having two different cases and we'll be using these three things guys. Of E and H, we'll be using these all combinations. Okay, so rest all are computable. Okay, so the definition will be in this way. It is a, a cyclic graph where all nodes of the graph represent the hypothesis and arcs connect two nodes representing dependency between them. So once we are going through the diagram, you'll be having a small idea guys. So here we will be using the concepts of joints, which you'll be understanding once we are solving this problem, which is given. Okay. So, so we are having two different representations guys. So if you take a small example in a house, a guy, cat and dog are staying. So in a house, a guy, cat and dog are staying. Okay. So when rain, when rain, dog barks. So whenever there is a rain, dog barks, but it is not always right, right? So whenever it rains, it will, it will be barking guys. No, it, if it is sleeping, it will not bark, right? So in that way. So when a dog barks, a cat will hide. So this is also not always. So these not always situations are nothing but the uncertainty guys. Okay. So directed cyclic graph will be in this way. So rain, dog barks and cat hides. So if it rains, it may, dog may bark. If a dog barks, it cat may hide. So these are nothing but the conditional probabilities. So if this happens, this, sorry, if this happens, this will happen. If this happens, if this will happen, fine. So if rain means it will be in the denominator, dog will bark. If a dog barks, cat will hide denominator reverse way. Okay. So let us continue. Even that can be in the form of a table representation. Okay. Bark, not bark, rain, not rain, not rain guys. So this will be, these are just assumption values guys. Don't think that what are these values? How did I get? Those are just assumption values. That's it. Okay. So if you take a small example, guys, guys, whenever you type anywhere, the example for B, B, sorry, BNN, you'll be getting this only guys. Sorry, BBN guys. So we'll be getting this only as a result. So because this is the most common example, which is found. So let us take a small example that you are staying in a house, which is having a particular alarm which will rest. So basically you designed that alarm. So whenever the thief enters, it will ring in that way. So burglary is nothing but the robbery guys, whereas the earthquake. So whenever there is a robbery, it is ringing, but it's not compulsory. The chances of ringing is 0 0.001 and the point of ch chances of not ringing is 0 0.99999 and earthquake also. Basically alarm should not ring at the rate when it's an earthquake. But it is ringing. The probability of it is 0 0.002 and the probability of 0 0.998. So basically these values should be given in the question. If they are not given, please assume some random values guys. That's it. Okay. So alarm. So after that, if the alarm rings, you are having two neighbors, P1 and P2. So you asked them to call to you. Okay. So P1 has a some problem and P2 is also having some problem. So whenever P1 is sleeping, he cannot, uh, he cannot listen the ring and he cannot call to you. Okay. Similarly, P2 is a favorite listener of music guys. So he will be always, most of the time he will be listening to music. So if he is listening music, he cannot give you the message or he cannot call you. So now he will be asking some probabilities. So these are all the probabilities. So from here you can say alarm is dependent on these two and these two callers are depending on alarm. So the, here the values will be simple. Whereas in alarm, it is depending on burglary and earthquake. So we will be having the combinations of burglary and earthquake. True, 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 false, false, true and false, false. We will be having separate, separate probabilities. Yes or no. That is nothing but alarm rings and alarm not rings. Similarly, if P1 depends on A, so directly two, two values. So in this way, we will be giving the values guys. So the questions will be asked in this way. Probability of P1, comma, P2, comma, A, comma, negation of B, comma, negation of E. So if you observe here, these are nothing but happens if it, they happens and these two didn't happen. So the situation is that the the uh, your friend of P1 and P2 called you and the alarm ringed, but there is no burglary and there is no earthquake, but somehow alarm ringed. Fine. Okay. So let us go through the problem. So you'll be solving in this way, guys. So basically first check the first letter. It is P1. So P1 depends on what guys? P1 depends on alarm. So write it in this way. P1 by A. 
similarly p2 also depends on rm p1 p2 by a and the next is a so a depends on b and e that's nothing but buglery and earthquake so basically they are not happening so not of b and not of e similarly p sorry buglery and earthquake do not depend on anything so those are simple so just to substitute the value and multiply them so you'll be getting a value so this is a basic problem guys so basically i didn't find any kind of different problems so i have just took a small pro problem so that we'll be having a clear idea so in the next tutorial let us go through certain factor sorry certainty factor theory thank you thanks for watching